Hello all. In this video onwards, we are going to study a new course CST203 Logic System Design of 3rd semester. So in the first module of this course deals with number systems, different types of number systems, conversion from number system to another number system, one number system to another number system and different types of binary codes. So in this video, we will study what is a number system and what are the different types of number system like decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. So what do you mean by a number system? You all know number system is a naming or representing the numbers. It is a system of naming or representing the numbers. We want to represent numbers. So number system is a method for representing or naming the numbers. And it is a mathematical notation for representing numbers of a given set by using digits or other symbols in a consistent manner. That means we have a set that is a set containing number of digits or symbols. So math number system is a mathematical notation for representing this set in a consistent manner. Then number system provide a unique representation for every number unique representation of every number then also it allows various types of arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division etc then we all know the number system contains number of symbols number of different symbols for, for that particular number system that each symbol is called a digit then the number of digits in the number system is called the base and is represented by R. If R is the base of the system, then that number system has 0 to R minus 1 symbols or digits. Okay, the number of digits in the number system is called base and is represented by R, and there are 0 to R minus 1 different digits in the number system. Then the value of the any digit in a number can be determined by suppose we have a number so the value of any digit in the number system can be represent number can be rep determined by that means that depends upon the digit the position of the num pos the pos its position in the number the base of the number system okay the num digit itself the value of a digit in a number suppose we have a number in decimal number system suppose we have one two three one 1, 2, 3. Okay. 123 is the decimal number. So, what is the value of 2 in the number 123? The value of 2 is determined by the number itself. That is the first fact. First of all, the digit itself. That is 2. Then its position of the number in the system. The position of the number in the system is second position. That is the tens position. Then base of the number system base of the number system is 10 it is a decimal number system 10 okay so 10 to the power 1 it, it is start from position start from 0 0 it is first position so 10 to the power 1 into 2 that is 20 is the value of the digit then any number number system is a positional weighted system positional weighted system means each number in the each number in the number system has a positional weight. For example, suppose the number is represented as a n, a n minus a n minus 1, etc. a 2, a 1, a 0, then decimal point a minus 1, a minus 2, a n minus 3. That means this is the fractional part and this is the integer part. How can we express this, this number? The number expressed in base R. This number is a is in base R and the coefficient is multiplied by the power of R. So that means first most significant digit is a n. So a n into the base of the number is R, R to the power n because n is the position of the number. Plus the next digit is a n minus 1. So digit a minus a n minus 1 into base of the number R 
its position is th the position of that digit is n minus 1 so r to the power n minus 1 plus etc a2 into r square plus a1 into r1 a0 into r0 plus here this is the decimal point after decimal point a minus 1 a minus 2 a minus 3 etc so we add a minus 1 into r raised to minus 1 so this is in the minus 1 to the position r is the base of the system so a minus 1 into r raised to minus 1 plus a minus 2 into r raised to minus 2 so this is the expanded form of the number this is the standard form and this is the expanded form of the number different types of number system the different types of number system are decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system so first we have to discuss what is decimal number system you all know what is a decimal number system because we use decimal number system as the standard one so it has nine dif ten different digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 different symbols so here there are 10 symbols so its base is equal to 10 then what are the different symbols symbol starts from 0 to 10 minus 1 9 that means the base if base is equal to r then different symbols are 0 to r minus 1 so here base is equal to 10 so the different symbols are 0 to r minus 1 suppose 700 7392 is a decimal number how can we represent that number 7 into 10 to the power this is in the 7 is in the third position the position start from 0 2 is in 0th position 9 is in one first position 2 is in second position and 7 is in third position so 10 to the power 3 plus 3 into 10 to the power 2 because 3 is in the second position plus 9 into 10 raised to 1 that means 9 is in the first position plus 2 into 10 to the power 0 that means 2 is in the zeroth position so this is the expanded form of the number 7392 and we can perform different types of operations arithmetic operations in this decimal number that is addition subtraction multiplication division etc the next number system is binary number system binary number system means it has only two different digits 0 and 1 only two digits so its base is equal to 2 okay base is equal to 2 the different digits are 0 to base minus 1 2 minus 1 1 then here the digits are called bit in a binary number system the digits are called instead of digit we always use the word bit and the binary point separates the integer and the fractional part okay in decimal number it is called decimal point in binary number system it is called binary point that separate the integer part and the fractional part then each bit carries a weight based on its position related to binary point that means it is also a positional weight number system each bit carries a weight based on its position okay for example suppose the binary number is equal to 101 101 is the binary number then this one has the positional value of 0 okay position its position is equal to 0 so here its position is equal to 0 here its position is equal to 1 position is equal to 2 okay so the value of the number 1 is 1 into its base is equal to 2 2 to the power 2 so the column weights of binary numbers are powers of 2 that increases from right to left okay starting from position number starting from 0 that is 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 5 etc but in the case of a fractional number the binary point is here then the then the numbers are position of the weight of the numbers are 2 raised to minus 1 2 raised to minus 2 2 raised to minus 3 etc that means so we can represent each of the decimal digit as a equivalent binary number how can we write this binary number 
For decimal 0, equivalent binary is 0. Here there are two different symbols that represents the 0 and num 1 in decimal and also 0 and 1 in binary. Then we take the number 2 in decimal. How can we represent the number 2 in decimal? It's equivalent in binary. So here, to get the next number, what will you do in the decimal number system? You just add 1. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Like that. So here also we add 1. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. And carry 1. Okay. Then 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 1. Or you can write it as after all the bits in the given number that is 0 and 1. You just write again 0 in the least significant bit and next number that is 1 in the next bit. Then increase the least significant bit. 0 changes to 1. Okay. When two ones are there, the next number is 100. 100 zero zero. One zero zero means here 1 is replaced with 0. Here also maximum number it is replaced by the least number. Then we add one more bit to the number. That is 100. Zero zero. Again add 1. 101. One. Okay. Then for 6 it is 110. 7 it is 111. 8 it is 1000. 9 it is 1001. Just add 1 from one number to add one number to one you get the next digit sorry next number okay so this is the equivalent binary number for the nine different ten different digits in the decimal number system okay so you should remember this binary numbers and for further calculation we need this binary numbers So next is octal number system. Octal number system means as the name implies there are 8 different symbols. The 8 different symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So here there are 8 sim different symbols. It is called a base 8 system. Okay, base 8 number system. Okay, so the different numbers starting from 0 to 8 minus 1, 7. Here also it is a positional weight number system. Each number has a positional weight. That positional weight is a power of 8. That means for the integer part, the power start from 8 raised to 0. 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2, 8 raised to 3, etc. It increases from right to left. But in the case of fractional part, it increases, decreases from left to right. Okay, minus 2, minus 3, minus minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc. So we can draw the table for the equivalent table. Octal number also. So here first column represent all the decimal numbers. Second column represent the equivalent binary numbers for this decimal number. 10 different decimal number. Now we can write the equivalent octal number. So first we write first 7, 8 symbols are same as that of the decimal number because octal also has 8 different symbols. So 0 to 7 is same in decimal and octal number. Then what is 8 equivalent, uh, what is the octal equivalent of the 8 in decimal? So after 7, what will you write after 7? After 7 it became again start from 0. So next bit is, it, it becomes 1. That, be, that means 8 plus 1 is equal to 1 0. Then 1 plus, uh, 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 1, like that. Okay, so when it reaches 1 7, that means 1 0, then 1 1, 1 2, 1 3, 1 4, 1 5, 1 6, then 1 7. We again take 0 to 7, all the numbers. Okay, so what is the next number? Next number the lowest digit is 0. Least significant bit is 0. So what is the next digit? Next digit is we change it as 2. Okay. That means after 1 it becomes 2. Clear? That means 17 plus 1 is equal to 0. 0 with a carry. 1 0. That means 0 with a carry. Then that is added to 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay. So simply add 1 to every number to get the next number. 
next hexadecimal number system hexadecimal number system has 16 different symbols the 16 different symbols are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then some capital letters a b c d e f that means a b c d e f e f at the start of the alphabet okay usually it is written in capital letters don't use small letters so actually this represents 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 respectively then here there are 16 different symbols the base of the system is 16 okay base is equal to 16 the different symbols are start from symbol start from 0 to 16 minus 1 15 so equivalent f is equal to equivalent 15 then here also position it is a positional weight now uh, positional weight number system the position is a power of 16 that means 16 raised to 0 16 raised to 1 etc for integer numbers okay it is increases from right to left but for fractional numbers it decreases from right to left to right that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3, 16 raised to minus 1 16 raised to minus 2 etc for example here we draw the table for decimal binary octal and hexadecimal number so hexadecimal number 0 to 9 symbols are same as that of the decimal number then for number 10 in decimal it is represented as a in hexadecimal 11 b 12 c 13 d 14 e and 15 f after f it is that means the decimal 16 is represented as f plus 1 f plus 1 means 15 plus 1 15 plus 1 here it is we can represent it as 1 0 ok 1 0 that means after the equivalent hexadecimal equivalent of the num decimal number 16 is 10 so this is decimal number first one is decimal number and next one is hexadecimal number decimal 16 is represented as 10 in hexadecimal so decimal 17 equivalent hexadecimal is 1 1 decimal 18 equivalent hexadecimal is 1 2 like that when it reaches 1 9 it goes to 1 a 1 b 1 c 1 d 1 e and 1 f then it is 2 0 like that it increases from one number to next just adding the one to the previous number okay so in this video we will study what is a number system and what are the different number system like decimal binary hex octal and hexadecimal number system okay hope that all you get a very well idea about this different types of number system thank you